our god is good all the time and all the days of our life our god is very happy to very very happy to help you my life help my life and your life praise the lord hallelujah so that everybody that's what the bible says uh, book of psalm chapter 34 verses 5 bible says they looked to him to god that means to god and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed praise the lord hallelujah so that um, that mean uh, if anybody is praying to the lord if you are praying to the lord our god is saying and you will get you will see the glory of the lord in that prayer praise the lord so that i want to say to all the people people are watching online one more thing i would like to read book of psalm chapter 34 verse 6 in this bible says this poor man cried out and the lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles praise the lord not only for one trouble but in all the troubles our god can able to deliver you praise the lord let us raise our hand we can pray one minute to the lord right now after that we can hear the word of god right now heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i pray for all the people right now holy father all the people are watching online right now the people are watching from different places heavenly father i pray for them thank you you are touching each and every souls right now heavenly father thank you for your thank reaching you. gospel to the unreached areas father heavenly father does it matter how yes. the how many number of people are watching if, if even if one person is watching if one person is watching this gospel message today heavenly yes. father I pray for them yeah. right now thank you you are touching them and using them father heavenly father i pray for all yes. the nations right now uh the people there who are mm. watching from any of the cities what is their city i don't know holy god you. you know that one heavenly father thank you you are doing a mighty revival in the city and using that person mm. i pray for all the ministers those who are watching right now thank you for you are using the minister right now father to preach the gospel thank without the preacher the people cannot able to hear this gospel heavenly father thank you thank for you. raising up lots of true preachers in this world to reach your gospel to the unreached areas thank you Heavenly Father, I pray for all the nations right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Heavenly angels, you are taking control of this session. Any other things uh, which is coming yeah. against this gospel message and revival in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind, I cast out right now, God, right now, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Father God, I pray for Pastor Reverend Dennis Nairan Sami Chayan from South Africa. I pray yes. for this man of God. Thank you for your using this man of God. Giving, uh, using the tongue of this man of god thank Share you the lord of god right now through this pastor's stand let this word of god reach to the rich areas with yes, mighty power and anointing of the holy spirit father god once again more i pray for this session in jesus name i pray amen amen thank you very much we can give wonderful clap to jesus christ wonderful section praise the lord so shake the nation very happy to invite uh, reverend dennis sir and sami from south africa to share this wonderful word you are most welcome pastor and the 40 minute time amen pastor will be shared thank you pastor jolly and to the rest of the team that are on this platform shake the nation yes of course indeed we are shaking the nation making them realize that the coming of the lord jesus christ is imminent hallelujah and also that people need to get themselves ready because one of these fine days we will be going home and uh, let me say this tonight i thank god for the set man of the house pastor jolly with this uh, tremendous work that you are doing in in london and uh, the rest of the world the people are seeing they appreciate they getting to know jesus as a personal savior tonight we bring to you good tidings good tiding mean the wonderful beautiful word of god that can set humanity free from the sin liberate them and some day soon they can also have their share in the kingdom of heaven tonight once again i bring greetings from south africa and i 
I'm so glad that I, I can, you know, set myself aside. Hallelujah. To preach, to teach, to exalt the word of God. Tonight, I take my readings from the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 14. Hallelujah. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says, for as many as are led by the spirit. You see, the important thing is you need to be led by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Wherever you are listening from, without the spirit, you cannot listen to the word. And the Bible says, you are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful to hear that we are chosen? And the Bible says tonight, even as I continue with my message, I'm going to relate to you as I speak into your lives. You are the chosen of God. You are the children of God. Now, in order for you to be that, you need to accept Jesus Christ into your life. Hallelujah. Acknowledge him that he came into this world. He died for your sins and he set you free. Now let's continue. According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Remember, God chose you and I before the foundation of the world that we should be holy, holy and without blame before him in love. Servants of God must be firmly loyal, unshakable and always increasing in the service for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are to be firm, unmovable, unshaken in our spirit that we can continue to preach the gospel. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. We are the temple of God and God lives in this temple. Take note, God created you and I and the rest of us to be the temple of God, that God can dwell in us. Hallelujah. That's why he says, let his light shine in you. When people look at you, you portray the perfect image that God is within you. Come on, people. And that's what God wants to see. That's what people want to see. They want to see the light shining in you. The Bible says, for many are called, but few are chosen. One who is chosen is an elect of God, chosen by God, mouthpiece of God, instrument of God. 
and God desires such people to be used under the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost that they can take this message to the next level, telling the world about the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. Our choice, we are ordained by God to present God's kingdom. Nothing else. When Jesus came into this world, he spoke nothing else. But he spoke about the kingdom. God's kingdom, his father's kingdom. How wonderful it is. Hallelujah. So what about you and I? Who are we talking about? We should be talking about the kingdom of heaven. God and his marvelous work that created the heavens and the earth. Which time past were not a people, but now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now we have mercy. We have obtained mercy of the Lord. See, we have purified our souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and to unfeigned love of God. That's why the Bible says, see that you love one another with a pure heart, being born again not of the corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Come on. The Bible clearly says, we always, we stress ourselves upon based upon the word of God, that heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words will endure forever. Take note, because his word is precious. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the same word came into this world, hung upon the cross, and died for your sins and my sins, to set the whole world free from iniquity, from sickness, disease. Think about it. How powerful this word is. Let's continue. Being born again, not of a corruptible seed. Hallelujah. Being born again means your life is no more the same that it used to be. You're no more in the world. You're no more corrupted. You have accepted Jesus as your personal savior. You got to know him. And tonight, let us indulge in the spirit. The Holy Spirit brings conviction that is so real that it can change a person's thoughts and action. Yes. The Holy Spirit is the third person in the triune God that can make the difference in your life. Hallelujah. To be born again when we respond to God offers us of our forgiveness and eternal life through Jesus Christ. Confess our sins. Invite Jesus Christ into our life to be our leader and our Lord. And when Jesus truly comes in, his Holy Spirit fills us and changes us. We are truly born again. 
We need to see the change that what the Spirit of God can do. You can feel automatically, you'll start denying the world. Everything that you was indulging in, you'll just give it, let go, and your life will be transformed. And you find that new things are happening in your life. That's what the spirit can do for you and I. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six, for thou art a holy people and unto the Lord thy God and thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Yes, God has chosen you to be a speciality for himself that he can use you to tell the others about the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on friends, you are special. Above all the people that are upon the face of the earth, God has chosen you to be a special person unto him. No one can do the jobs of God chose you to do. He picked you for a very specific purpose. You are meant to be used by him according to his perfect plan. God has a plan for you. A perfect plan that you promote the kingdom of heaven. Tell the people how good this God is. Amen. Your life will never be the same again. Having strong senses of peace is an indicator that are in line with God's will for your life. If you both have a strong peace or reassurance that you're supposed to be together, this could be the Holy Spirit. Confirming that he is the one God has for you. The psalmist cries out. He says, cry out unto God most high. God will fulfill the purpose of our hearts. This is the key and understanding. I said this is a key in understanding God's purpose for our lives. God has numbered your days and will fulfill every purpose he has for you. However, our choices and actions may differ, but really, God in God's eyes, it will really matter. And the peace of God which transcend all understanding will guard your thoughts and your minds, Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever is true, whatever is notable, noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And I believe that Paul puts it in a very simple way. In Romans chapter 2 and verse 13, for we are not only the heirs of the law, 
but also the doers of God, which keep the law. And we are justified by his word. So friends, let's continue to run this race. As we go down memory lane, that Christ has died for us and paid the price for our iniquity and our sins. It is therefore important that we are out not to take our eyes away from our Savior. The Bible says, return unto me and I will return unto you. Though your sins may be as scarlet, I will make them white as snow. You have the word of God tonight. As I've delivered, I've given it unto you. You are the children of God chosen. Don't run away from it. Acknowledge it that he's your father. He created you in his own image. Tonight, remember, he's coming to fetch your home. One of these fine days. Don't let the devil cheat on you. Don't let the people rob you. Tonight, I'm going to pray with you. Now is the time of acceptance. Don't postpone it and leave for another day. You better change your life now. Now, accept Jesus as your savior. If you have drifted away from him, come back and tell him, I'm sorry. Be like the prodigal son. He came back. He repented right there in the pitch time. And he said, in my father's house are plenty food. He has many servants. I'm going to go back home. You could be tired of doing whatever you are doing right now, but your father wants you back home. Come on, repent. Your father loves you. If you are backslidden, return back home. Father's house is your father's house. Nobody can chase you. Friends, I call you friend because you are precious in the sight of God. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for these people that have rejected you. Lord, tonight I pray that you'll be moved with compassion and mercy. Bring them back home. Father, don't let the devil cheat upon them. But rather be reconciled back to the Father in heaven. I was pray for Pastor Jolly and this ministry. Bless him, use him mightily. Father, this door that you have opened, you're going to open many other doors in Jesus' name. Cover us all with your precious blood. All glory, honor, and praise goes to your wonderful name.
and those people that are listening, bless them, and on the years, Father, they too will acknowledge Jesus Christ and draw closer to you. As we close now, bless your people. In Jesus' name, I ask this message. Amen and amen. Over to you, Pastor Jolly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. You finished very early. No problem. Thank you very much. Okay. So, may God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. We can give Thank thanks. You. Praise Thank God. you. Praise the Lord. So, protocol signs. Our God was you know, that one. And our go in the Bible, when you are looking at the Bible, each and every Bible words, it is written. It was by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Our pastor yes. was saying about prodigal son. Praise the Lord. So our God is loving. That means our God was loving each and every people, those who are uh, the, people, the people, those who are walking in the wicked way. Praise the Lord. That yes. means once you are coming by repenting your sins and your words, whatever you are doing the wrong way. Praise the Lord. Yes. When you are, once you are uh, repenting um, that things and coming back to yes. the Lord, our God is so merciful God. He is a righteous yes. God. And also he is merciful God, loving kindness is the nature of our Lord. So, yes, praise the Lord. Lord. Stretch out his righteous right hand, both of his hands towards you. Yeah. Our God will hold you, uphold you, and our God will accept you. Praise the Lord. This is our God. So, Amen. Comparing any other people, those who are saying in this world, they are the God. When you're looking at their nature, their nature is a wicked ways and cruel nature, and that is not the right way. But Jesus Christ. Yeah came to this world, not to steal and destroy you, but to get you the life everlasting. Praise Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say according to the gospel. That's what the Bible says. Thank you, Pastor Dennis Narayan Swami. You can give a wonderful clap to Jesus Christ. <laughs> wonderful songs, wonderful uh, preaching each and every time. Praise the Lord. In this book, of, book of Psalm chapter 34, verse 10 in this Bible says, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any, any, any good things. That means Amen. what all the things, whatever you have desire in your life, praise the Lord. That means our God is saying desire, that means, praise the Lord, we have to survive everything in our life. We should not have any of the sickness. Even if you are having the sickness, uh, we have to come out from the sickness. Praise the Lord. Amen. House yes. and accommodation and family, our children's good education. We have to do, you know, that one, um, the job. We have to work, you know, you know that we need. We have to meet all our expenses and all these things. Yes. This is the good things what our God is thinking to in your life. Praise the Lord. And especially is the spiritual life. Praise the Lord. So that's what, all these things our God want to add in your life and my life, one condition. Yeah. First you seek his kingdom. <laughs> yes. First you seek with if you are not seeking the kingdom of God, nothing will happen in your life. You will get some, you know, that one some growth in your life that is not that will not be stable. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes. All that I want to say. Abraham, he was seeking the kingdom of God. Jacob and yeah. you know, that, uh, King Solomon, Hannah and Zachariah and Elizabeth, all the children of Israel, all the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were seeking the first and they were giving the first priority uh, and for God. They were looking at God always in all the, day, all the days of their life. Amen. Because of this reason, even if they were in the midst of prison, even if the Daniel, he was the den of the lion, praise the Lord. And the Shatrak, Meshach, Abednego, when they were in the burning fiery furnace, the three peoples. When yes. Apostle Paul, when he was in the midst of the ship in the sea, that's 14 days. Our God yes. delivered them. Praise the Lord. That's what I would say. That's what yes. I said. The Bible says, okay, um, uh, Book of Psalms, chapter uh, uh, 34, the verses 5, Bible says, they looked to him and were radiant, and their faces Amen. were not ashamed. Praise the Lord. This is what okay. Glory to God. Everybody needs lots of things in their life, but you are not serving, ready to serve our Lord. But we have to. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. <laughs> so let us raise our hand. You can pray to the Lord right now. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this wonderful word of God, the man of God. I pray for this man of God, Father. Reverend Thank Dennis, you. Thank you for your giving long life. 
the victory life, the healthy body, and everything this man of God right now, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, especially I pray for pastor ministry, which is doing in South Africa. Heavenly Father, I pray for this pastor. Heavenly Father, thank you. You are using this pastor, Moran. Heavenly thank Father, you, Lord. I pray for all the people, those who are watching online from UK, Europe, and Africa, North and South America, and Asian countries. I pray for all the people right now. Thank you for your touching lots of souls and using the souls at your kingdom. Heavenly you, Father. Father, all the sick people are watching right now, sprinkling the blood of Jesus Christ right now. The people are having the desire in their heart right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I declare the healing right now. Heavenly Father, let the people are watching the troubles in their facing trouble in their family. In the name of Jesus Christ, sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ in their family right now. The spirit Glory of God. disturbance, the dividing spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, a bind, a cast out right now. God right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Amen. I pray for the ministry, our ministry. Shake the nations, all the work which I'm doing. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, I'm giving everything in your hand. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for each and every people. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, thank you Amen. very much. So, everybody, God bless you. More and more. Thank you. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Thank you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm preaching in the two cities. There will be a okay. very meeting, especially for USA, Canada, and Australia in the evening night. Join Amen. Us. Every day. Every day. Somebody's you know, on, uh, hacked to my Facebook and everything. I'm not looking at any of this. Even one person is yeah. watching. That's enough. Our God will increase us. We are not yeah. looking at devil will do maximum their side. I will never look at the devil. Yeah. I'm doing my job. <laughs> yeah. God bless yeah, you. Thank you. Bye.